Hey everybody, welcome to comics class. My name is Brandon Pallas and uh, I'm here to teach you everything I know about comics and art in general, um, eventually. Uh, as of now, we're, uh, we're doing our uh, Simplified Anatomy series. We're going to continue with uh, the anatomy of the forearm today. Um, last week we did the upper arm. Uh, today we're going to continue on with the lower arm. So um, we'll do that in just a minute, but for now, let's go ahead and. Uh oh. How come I can't? Okay, never mind. All right, here we go. <laughs> let's start with some warm ups. Um, so, as usual, we will uh, we'll start with some C curves. And uh, one thing I want to start doing with these is I want to have them sort of radiate out from a. From a central point like they're um just like you know arcing outward we can kind of change the the angle the um the degree of uh curve to this line but i kind of want everybody to start spending some time dealing with this like uh radiating kind of quality to these lines because this is going to come in handy in a lot of ways, it's even going to come in handy uh, with some of the stuff that we do today. So, let's see, let me get these, uh, make sure I can see the people that are streaming. And, uh, oh, we got a bunch of them today. So, yeah, let's just, um, let's just do some of these radiating uh, C curves. We can do them inward, kind of toward a central point, or we can do them outward. Coming out of this central point. That's not so good right there. Oh well. So much of uh, drawing, so much of like uh, design principles and stuff is gonna end up being just these little these little concepts, like the way these lines are radiating out from a point. Um, and I'll cover that in detail when we get to those uh, lessons, but uh, I do want to make sure we're starting to develop some of those skills. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, do a few S curves. Just start with some regular ones. change up the direction, change up the angles. And now I'm going to do the same thing as we did with the C curves. This is going to be a little more difficult probably because it's a more complex line to be radiating out, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be beautiful. This is just practice. This is just, uh, just training your hand and we'll get better over time. Try some going inward. A little bit more of that. Try to go, let's see, the opposite direction. Just a little more. All right, and now what I want to do is the same thing, 
but we'll do uh, straight lines. Um, and I'm what I'm going to do, primarily have them coming toward a central point, draw the line toward it. We can go both ways. We can go out from the middle or in toward the middle. But um, this is going to be a really good one when we start doing perspective, which I think I will probably do as the next series once we finish anatomy. Um, the ability to kind of freehand your perspective uh, is incredibly valuable. Um, and developing our skills, developing our ability to... Uh, direct lines toward a point, especially like a kind of an imaginary point that we don't necessarily have marked down on the page, um, is going to be really useful. Of course, you can also put a point there. And, uh, in fact, that's, that's really good, too, because, you know, that gives us something to hold on to, uh, kind of check our work. But, uh, but both things are valuable, to to kind of hold the point in your mind or to, like, have it on the page. Here I'm aiming toward it. Just a little bit more of this. I find that this sort of, um, what I call radiation, uh, where you have lines, um, either curves or straight lines or whatever, all kind of converging on or radiating out from a central point is, um, major element of design that that's going to come up all the time. So just training ourselves to be good at it is, uh, is going to be very helpful for us. Um, anyway, that should about do it for, uh, for warmups today. Uh, the forearms are pretty complicated. We're probably going to end up spending a lot of time. So let's go ahead and get to it. Um, all right. So I'm going to start with, uh, a little bit of a mannequin like we've been, uh, doing before always trying to make sure that we're keeping the kind of big picture in mind. So I'm not going to put in the legs and everything. They would start right there. But this will be the torso with the, uh, put some mass in there, the, the waist, the shoulders, the hips, all of this. We know the head goes up here. Put the neck in, the, the trapezius and all of that. Um, we know we've got the acromion process here, that uh, point of the shoulder where the collarbones and the, the um, shoulder blade uh, connect and uh, where the upper arm bone also connects. Um, upper arm about comes about down to the waist. And then the uh, forearm, which will be our focus today, will come about down to the, uh, the greater trochanter of the thigh, the, um, the hip bone, the hip line there. Um, obviously this arm is up, so we kind of just have to estimate since we, it's not hanging straight down, but that's fine. Um, all right. So quick recap of the upper arm. We've got the, uh, deltoid reaching down about halfway. The deltoid has three heads. It's got the front, uh, the anterior head. It's got the side, the medial head or the lateral head rather. Um, and then we don't see it here, but in the back, there's the uh, posterior head. Uh, we've got the bicep, which comes down in the front, the biceps, uh, biceps brachii, um, which means the two-headed arm muscle. Uh, down toward the end, it's gonna turn to tendon uh, and kind of insert onto that uh, forearm bone there. Uh, in the back, we've got the, uh, the triceps, um, it's going to come down to, uh, the elbow there. And, uh, we also talked a lot last time, uh, we included a little bit of a forearm muscle in this brachioradialis, uh, which runs along the, the forearm there and inserts 
behind. Oh, I didn't mention the brachialis, which is another little muscle um, kind of underneath the bicep. Uh, you know what? This is this is a little low resolution and the lines are a little too thick. So I'm going to do another one um, just to make sure it's easier to see. So deltoid, bicep, a little bit of rear deltoid there, triceps, a um, little bit of brachialis there. Here's going to be the elbow back there. It's going to be a very important um, bony landmark for us. Uh, down here, we've got the wrist. The um, outside of the wrist is going to be the be kind of the biggest bony landmark in this area. Uh, we, you should all be able to look at the outside of your wrist, you know, on the pinky side, and feel like a big knobby bone jutting up there. That's going to kind of be our uh, our north star in this area. Um, there's also a bony landmark on the inside of the wrist, uh, but it isn't like obvious and protruding like this one is, um, like the one on the outside is. Uh, but it is, you know, always a, a reliably bony area that a lot of muscles and stuff are going to connect to. Um, so what I'm going to do before I start putting in the forearm muscles here is I'm going to just kind of create a little bit of mass here. Um, the bones of the forearm, uh, especially toward the wrist are going to be taking up most of this area. It's all just going to be very bony. Um, and then the muscles are going to bulge out at the top and kind of taper in toward the wrist. So, all right, we got all that. We got the elbow there. And then we've got the, uh, and I should clarify, first of all, th this is the, the outside of the arm. We'll also look at the inside momentarily, but right now we're looking at the outside. Um, so this here is the uh, outer, um, it's called the uh, condyle of the elbow. Uh, you can feel on your own arm on either side of the elbow, there are the bones that are the, um, it's the end of the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, um, ulna. The, the ulna is the, the elbow bone. Um, it's the, it's the large bone of the arm. There's also the radius, which is on the inside. And that's the one that when you rotate your hand up and down, the radius like, uh, rotates around the, uh, the ulna on this end. It stays kind of locked in place over here. Um, so these condyles, uh, which are, like I said, are the wide point on the ulna, um, are going to be important because a lot of, uh, muscles and everything are going to attach there. In fact, the, uh, this like outer kind of leg of the triceps is going to run down to that condyle. And then we've got the brachioradialis, uh, which we talked about last week that runs right kind of in front of the biceps and the brachialis and it tucks underneath the triceps there. Um, and then it's going to come from this condyle here and it's going to kind of wrap around the outside of the arm, uh, the outside of the forearm and reach down. It's going to turn to tendon like right around here and reach down to the inside of the wrist. Um, like right on the side. Uh, and then Let's see. Uh, we've got the elbow there. Like I said, we got the, the bony part of the outside of the wrist on the pinky side. And this right here, I'm going to go ahead and put it in red. This is the, uh, this is the edge of the ulna, the, um, the large bone of the arm. Um, and this is a whole bony landmark going from the elbow all the way to the wrist. Um, you should be able to feel your bone just running all the way. And this is going to be a really important dividing line uh, that separates the inside of the forearm from the outside of the forearm. We're always going to see this, uh, like it's usually going to show as a kind of divot uh, in the arm where the muscles are going to kind of bulge up on either side of it. Um, so we got this brachioradialis here. There's also another muscle. I I've kind of been 
I've just been talking about the one, the brachioradialis, but there's also another muscle in there that, that goes right along with it. And you kind of can't even see a difference between them, but they are technically two muscles. It's called the uh, extensor carpi... Right. Oh, I forget. I'll, I'll see it on the, we'll see it on the anatomy picture in a minute. Um, but in any case, so, so there's these muscles that loop around the outside there. And then from that same, uh, from that same, um, condyle there, we're going to have these extensor muscles that kind of, here's that radiation like we were doing in the, in the warm up. They're going to kind of, spread out like this and they're going to run down along the top of the wrist and uh they're going to kind of disappear down here as they turn to uh tendon and kind of go underneath the, the flesh of the wrist there the skin but we will see these um muscles up here just kind of fanning out uh sort of tucking underneath that uh that mass on the uh inner portion of the of the arm there of the forearm um, but they're all running from the uh, condyle there. Um, and there's a bunch of those. There's there's like four or five different ones. I'm not going to really cover all of them. Um, again, this is simplified anatomy. Uh, but you don't really need to know, for most purposes, you don't need to know every single one. We just need to kind of understand that there's this mass here, and then there are these muscles that fan out from there. Um, somewhere up here, there's a little muscle uh, around the elbow called the Anconius that we'll cover. Um, and then we will also see the flexor muscles kind of bulging out on the other side of this, uh, burrow created by the, uh, the ulna. Um, so that's the outside of the arm. I'll do another one for the inside. So here's the collarbone, humerus, radius and ulna there. Um, you know, the hand will be down there. Uh, okay. So actually, before we go on to that, does anybody have any questions on the, um, I'm trying not to ask if anyone has questions. I'm going to say, uh, go ahead and speak up if you have questions. Um, that way we can avoid the awkward pause while I wait to see if anybody says anything. Um, forever hold your peace. <laughs> yeah. And you guys, I want you always feel free to speak up at any time. I mean, Maybe not if I'm like right in the middle of something, but, um, yeah, you know, if you guys have questions, uh, you're welcome to speak up and, um, you can also post them in the, uh, comics class chat right there. And I will try to keep an eye on it. Um, okay. So we'll do the inside of the arm now. Uh, here is the front deltoid. Here is the biceps brachii turning to tendon down at the end there, kind of crossing across that joint, um, attaching to the forearm bones. Uh, we got the inside of the deltoid, or, um, sorry, the, uh, triceps right there. Um, we got the elbow down there. We've also got the, uh, the medial, I believe it's called, uh, condyle of the, uh, of the ulna there. Um, that one should be really obvious uh, if you feel it on yourself. It really kind of sticks out uh, on the inside there. Um, so here we got all that upper arm stuff. And now, just like we have right there, the uh, the uh, brachioradialis and the uh, extensor carpi, carpi ulnaris, I think is what it's called now. Um, that's going to kind of loop from the outside and run down to the uh, outside of the wrist there. Um, and then we're going to have, coming off of this uh, condyle here, there's a bunch of muscles, a bunch of different extensor muscles, but they mostly all look like one muscle. It's gonna be extremely rare to see um, actual definition in all of those muscles. So I'm basically gonna teach them as one muscle. There's kind of a, uh, just a, a round bulge here that um, reaches out and uh, comes toward the uh, inside of the wrist, the like underside, like the palm side of the wrist. And over here, it uh, it will start to turn to a bunch of 
separate uh, tendons that you can see. But down here, it's all going to look like uh, like one mass. Um, so the inside portion of the forearm, the uh, extensor portion, or the um, the flexor portion uh, that curls the the wrist downward, is going to be a lot easier to deal with for us than the outside. Um, so we'll probably spend more time on the outside of the forearm. But um, let's see. Let me do one more. Let's see. I'll do from kind of from the back of the arm here. So uh, there's the chromium process. We're going to have a little uh, shoulder blade there. The um, rear deltoid will reach about two thirds across the shoulder blade. We have the lateral deltoid there. We're going to have the uh, teres major and stuff. Um, here's the elbow. I'm going to go ahead and just start with a little mass on these bones. Um, tricep. Those legs of the triceps are going to be running down to those uh, condyles on either side of the elbow there. Um, we might see a little bit of the biceps or the brachialis here. Okay, so here's the elbow right there. And we're going to have this this bony ridge, um, either a ridge or a, or a furrow, depending on how, uh, how fleshy the person's arm is. Um, on the top side there, the extensor side, we're going to see the, uh, the brachioradialis, uh, curving and like kind of wrapping around the outside, just like this big bulge here. Um, we're going to see these muscles, these various muscles, kind of, uh, kind of radiating out from that condyle, all kind of reaching toward the uh, the top, the back of the wrist, right there. Here's the wrist bone, the uh, outer uh, bone, and then just like conveniently located on the other side of this. Uh, line, we're going to see the bulge of the flexors, the forearm flexors there. Um, so that uh, should be a good intro. Somewhere in here, there's the Anconius. We'll talk about that in a minute. It's not super important, but it, it does pop up sometimes. Um, so uh, if anyone has any questions about that so far, feel free to speak up. But uh, right now, oh, go on. This last one was a side view, right? Uh, yeah, this is like uh, from behind. This oh, is the shoulder okay. blade right there. So we're seeing like the back of the tricep. Here's the you know the elbow in the back. This is why we can really see clearly see that uh, that furrow of the um, the uh, ulna. Uh, okay. Yeah. But this is like the hand is palm downward from that angle because I know like, yeah. the rotation of the wrist really impacts. The yes. Muscles. Yeah, the hand would be like uh, like this from here. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start by looking at uh, some anatomy pictures. Um, here we've got the uh, we got the whole arm. Um, let's see. And here we can see uh, this is from the front. We're going to have the bicep there. We're going to have the, the deltoids. Bicep is going to reach down there. We're going to get the uh, the uh, brachioradialis and all that. Um, on the inside, we're going to have the the uh, flexor bulge. Um, here we see it from the back. There's the uh, back of the shoulder blade. We're going to get the uh, rear deltoid side deltoid we're going to have the triceps and all that here's the um look at those uh condyles on the on the ulna there they're just like very prominent and then there's the elbow itself it's just a big old big old chunky bone um so the triceps are going to run down here uh, they're going to attach around those uh those condyles um we're going to have, let's see, the uh, 
brachioradialis coming down on that side. This is going to be this whole uh, area where the bone is up against the skin. Um, we'll have some of those extensor muscles radiating out from that uh, condyle there, going to the uh, top of the wrist. We're going to have that uh, bulge of the flexors on the inside running from the uh, running from the condyle there. Here's that uh, that big uh, outside wrist bone right there. Um, so that's where we are on the skeleton. Now let's go take a look at some of these, uh, muscles. Um, so here is the brachio, let me get a different color here. Here's the brachioradialis. And like I said, there's another, the extensor carpi radialis longus that is right next to it. Like it's little, uh, sibling there. Um, and they both... They both kind of, I mean, I'm not saying they do the exact same thing, but they're, they, they're situated very similarly. So, and, and they don't really appear, you won't see a uh, definition between them for the most part. So you can kind of treat this all as one mass. It uh, comes from these uh, epicondyle, it's calling it here. I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, from these condyles or epicondyles uh, and sort of, wraps over the um, upper portion of the arm. It also inserts along, like underneath the, the triceps right there. Um, okay, here's that muscle called the anconius, which is just uh, a weird little bulging muscle that, that kind of sits alongside the elbow that uh, most of the time you aren't gonna see, but once in a while it pops up. Uh, we'll deal with that. Um, then you got all of these extensor muscles that all radiate out from that condyle and come down along the uh, top of the wrist there. You can see all these tendons here branching out. There's also these couple of little muscles that just kind of pop up near the bottom there and they go down and, and work the thumb. Um, those don't show up as like muscle bulges too much but you will notice sometimes like a some little some stuff there so we'll we'll deal with that when we get into looking at the um reference photos we'll uh we'll see what we can see um there's that external um or the um outside uh wrist bone there uh, always very prominent uh so that's the outside again here here you can see how the bone is just exposed like right up against the skin. Um, so that's the extensor side of the arm, the top side, the um, back of the hand side of the arm. Now we'll go over here to the uh, the inner portion of the arm. Here's the biceps brachii uh, running down um, right into this like divot created by all of these muscles. There's a little it kind of like loops like this. Um, and we're going to see something very similar when we get to the, uh, get to the legs. Uh, in fact, just all over the place, we're going to see where the arms and the legs are really similar in their structure. Um, so understanding one well is going to help us understand the other. Um, here's that, uh, that, uh, brachioradialis and, uh, I guess the, extensor carpi radialis longus is on the other side, but you know, we just basically need to know that there's a bulge here that wraps around. Um, on the inside here, we've got this mass of uh, flexors that, like I said, is all going to show kind of as one, one bulge for the most part. Although as it starts to turn to tendon, we're going to see it split up into all of these tendons on the inside of the wrist. Um, I've personally, uh, for my purposes, never found it important to really learn every one of these things. Um, you know, if you're trying to do classical sculpture or beautiful academic figure drawing or something like that, maybe you want to learn all that stuff. But if you're, um, you know, a comic book artist, a concept artist, whatever, you probably just need to know that you got a bulge here and it turns to, you know, three or four little like ligaments that kind of pop up on the inside of the wrist there. Um, 
right here there's this pronator teres muscle that we can see um but it doesn't really show uh, on the body that much. Um, so like I said, for the most part, we can treat all of this as one big, one big bulge. Um, there's that uh, inside uh, condyle that all of these muscles attach to. This here, I believe, is the, uh, the part of the tricep. Um, so that's the inside of the arm. Uh, if anybody has any questions, go ahead. Feel free to speak up. Um, move down to a couple of other anatomy drawings here. Okay, this is one thing that's really important. Um, and this this isn't shown on a lot of these anatomy drawings because it's they're mostly concerned with the muscles. And this isn't a muscle. It's just a, uh, a like, uh, fibrous piece of tissue. But there's the bicipital aponeurosis also known as the Lacertus fibrosis. Um, we don't need to know those names, but it's really important to understand that there's this, uh, this connective tissue here that comes off of the end of the bicep and it just kind of straps down over the, uh, over all of these muscles of the, um, over all of these flexor muscles on the inside of the forearm, right in front of the, um, the uh, condyle there. Uh, and so this, what, like I said, all, all of this is going to be one like bulge, but there is going to be this like strap here that creates a, let me get rid of all of this, um, that creates a, uh, some shape. It, it's like, imagine all of this was bulging out, but then we put like a, we wrapped a belt over it that like straps it down tight there so that it bulges out here. Um, and that's an important detail. Uh, it's, it's not something that you're going to see much when you look at anatomy drawings, because like I said, they, they don't, they tend to concern themselves with just the muscle and, and leave aside a lot of this stuff. But this, uh, for my money is, is, is it a pretty important detail? So we're going to see that a lot when we look at the, um, anatomy drawings. Uh, so let me just go over some of this stuff. Okay, so here again we can see um, triceps. Uh, here's that lateral epicondyle. Here's the elbow over here. We can see the exposed bone all along the backside there. Um, the uh, brachioradialis and its partner, extensor carpi radialis longus. Um, just that one kind of mass that that wraps from from the underneath the tricep and from that condyle and just bulges out wraps around the side of the arm turns to tendons over here um there's a bunch of muscles here i'm counting one two three this depends on how you i guess it's only oh here's this little one um i guess it's like four but some of them have like kind of multiple parts and, and basically, we're just going to have a bunch of stuff sort of radiating out from that um, from that uh, condyle. And then there's that weird little bulgy Anconius uh, on the side. Um, so that's the outside. The inside here, we see the uh, biceps tendon. We see the uh, extensors all right here. You know, there's about... Four different muscles. Um, they all turn to a uh, tendon down here. Um, but like I said, you're not going to see separation among those muscles, except in really rare cases. I think we have a couple of bodybuilder pictures here where you're going to see a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, it's just a bulge. And even when people are really, really buff and lean, that you, where you'd be able to see the bulges in the muscles, usually those people are going to have a bunch of veins popping up all over the place that kind of obscure it anyway. So to me, uh, you know, this being a simplified anatomy class, it is not uh, really necessary to learn all of that stuff. Um, but you know, if you're if you're inspired, the go look it up. Um, all right, and then so then we got the brachioradialis there uh, again coming down to the uh, 
to the inside of the wrist here. And then here's a cool thing. This is not kind of really relevant to us, but look at this, uh, this bit of tendon that wraps around here. There's actually like almost like a cuff of tendon around the wrist that's kind of only there to like lash all this stuff down um, and like kind of keep the tendons from just popping up too much <laughs> when you flex the wrist. It's kind of weird. Um, and it's kind of a similar thing that we see uh, here where it just like lashes those muscles down. Um, so I think that's about it for the anatomy drawings. That should kind of be everything we need to take, uh, take note of. Um, so let me go over this one more time with like a different color and just uh, point out all the important stuff. Okay, so we got the condyles here. There's the, the, uh, the one on the inside. There's the one on the outside. We got the elbow. We got the uh, bony landmarks of... Well, these are the bony landmarks I'm going over right now. We got the the condyles, the uh, the elbow. We got the um, inner and outer bony portions of the wrist. We've got that bony uh, ulna, just like running the whole length of the forearm, separating the inside from the outside. Uh, and then we've got, let's get yet another color, um, the big bulge on the inside here. We got the extensors that fan out. We got the uh, anconius, which is, it, it, it connects to that condyle as well, but it's just a short little bulgy muscle that just kind of comes along, like right along the elbow there. Um, up here, we've got the uh, biceps tendon inserting in there. Again, we've got that uh, bulge on the outside over like, that comes over the brachioradialis and whatnot. We got the big bulge of the uh, flexor muscles turning to tendon on the inside of the wrist. We do have that uh, that um, bicipital aponeurosis or whatever. Uh, I, I, I have to admit I had no idea what this thing was called. I had to do some real research to figure it out today. Um, but there is this tendon that kind of lashes down those, uh, those flexor muscles. Um, Right there, you can see the uh, inner head of the triceps uh, attaching to that uh, condyle. Um, it's a little artificial to separate the upper arm and the lower arm because the muscles all sort of interconnect. You know, the bones are obviously very separate, but the muscles run, you know, up onto the top and up onto the bottom. So we have to deal with them a little bit uh, together. Um, but uh, yeah, that should be good for the anatomy stuff. So um Again, if anybody has any questions, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and ask. But we will move into looking at the uh, the models. Um, so here, good color for that. Okay, that'll work. All right. So we got the elbow. We've got the condyle there. Right here, we can see the anconius bulging up a little bit. Let me get not get ahead of myself. Um, here we can see the whole uh, bony uh, edge of the ulna there. We can see the uh, flexors starting to bulge on the underside of that. Uh, we can see the brachioradialis wrapping around the outside, kind of bulging over. Goes up under the tricep there, wraps around the outside of the forearm, comes along the inside, uh, attaches to the inside of the wrist there. Um, we've got these various muscles fanning out from there. And uh, that's about it for this one. Let's see, what do we got? Okay, uh, here we got elbow. We got condyle up there somewhere. Um, I think that's, is that the anconius there? I think so. Um, we can see the brachioradialis and extensor carpi ulnaris um, wrapping around there. We can see the various extensor muscles spreading out from that uh, condyle. Here we can see, let me get rid of it. you can see that whole divot right there. Um, 
Sorry, what was that? Okay, well. No, oh, that was nothing, sorry. Okay, no problem. Um, alrighty, so, uh, actually, that's, it's right here. We can see the, the, um, bone on the outside of the wrist there. Uh, that's going to be the, um, the landmark, the bony landmark of the, uh, the ulna. And then, um, in here, over here, we can see the, it's not real defined, but, you know, we can see the, um, condyle there. The bulge of the uh, flexors there, turning to tendon at the end of the wrist there. Let's see. Okay, this guy's pretty muscular, so we can see all of this stuff pretty well. Here is the bicep inserting in between those two major uh, bulging portions of the forearm. Um, we got the extensor or the uh, brachioradialis and its partner there. Just this sort of inside bulge. We've got these various muscles extending out. A little bit of bulge of the anconius there. Um, here we can see the influence of that tendon I was talking about. The uh, bicipital, what was it called? Bicipital aponeurosis, but um, I don't know what I'm going to, I'm going to call that the interior elbow tendon, because uh, that's a lot less of a mouthful. Um, there's the condyle right there. So we can see how the condyle pops out, um, and these muscles would all bulge out like this, except there's this tendon strapping them down right there. So they get tight there, and then it bulges out on the other side. Um and, you know, you can just, like I said, you can just kind of see this all as one bulge. Uh, it starts to turn to tendon near the wrist. Okay. We got here, elbow, condyle. You can see that really, there's like a, you can really see it right there. Um, brachioradialis. These muscles... These uh, extensor muscles all kind of spreading out from there. You can see here this uh, line of the ulna running right to that uh, exterior bony portion of the wrist. And then a little bit of those flexors uh, showing underneath that. Um, I want to point out, like, if you look at the, the shape, I'll do a different color here. Um, it's just like a nice long S curve. And then on the other side, it's another nice long S curve. It's going to be higher. Uh, the, the, the peak of that S curve is going to be higher on the uh, inside here, and it's going to be lower on the outside here. We're gonna see the same thing when we look at the calf um, and the lower leg. So that's a cool um, symmetry between the upper body and the lower body. But you can you can kind of go a long way just drawing like a little S curve that peaks up toward the top, a little S curve peaks toward the bottom, and then there's that's most of what you need for a forearm there. Um, all right, let's see. This guy has a lot of definition, uh, so that's cool. There's a lot of good stuff we can see. We got the elbow. We got the uh, condyle. Um, you can't... So this is kind of a cool example. Um, let's see. Here you can actually... On her, you can see the actual bulge of the, the condyle popping up there um, because she has relatively thin arms, um, she is, she is a pretty fairly strong looking woman, but, um, you know, we don't have like huge muscular developments of the forearms here. So we do see that, uh, bone popping up. Whereas on this guy, it's buried cause he's got like big, big forearms. So, um, we can see where everything branches off from there, but we don't really see the bone itself. Um, so here's that, uh, ulna line. It's not a straight line. The ulna uh, 
is a curvy bone. Most of the bones are kind of curvy. Um, so, uh, you know, you can do your research on exactly what the shape of that bone is if it's important to you. But we do see that divot that separates the sort of inside from the outside. We got those uh, flexors here. Elbow, we can see the anconius bulging up there. Um, we can see the brachioradialis coming, wrapping over the outside there. And then we can just see all of these muscles branching off from that uh, condyle. Um, let me get rid of this so you guys can see, because this, this guy, there's a lot of like uh, definition standing out here. We can see all this turning to the tendon down here. Um, and then I feel like this is a really good example of, um, you know, this guy's so like lean and everything that we can see all of these, all of the definition in here. But compare that with the flexors in here, where it's even with like a really, really lean muscular guy like this, it's, it's mostly just one bulge. Um, so, uh, yeah, you don't, you don't really need to learn all those interior ones um, on the inside of the arm. There's the condyle. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Okay, cool. So elbow, um, condyle. You can get a really nice look at the brachioradialis here. Uh, this bulge. Um, Anconius. Ulna. Um, bony landmark there. See the flexors on the other side. All of these muscles kind of radiating out from here. Same thing here. Uh, Brachioradialis, stensor muscles, inconius, flexors. Here we have, she's very thin, so we don't see a ton of, uh, a ton of uh, development, but we can see a little bit of this bulge here. It's going to come down to, uh, to the inside of the wrist there. And then, like I, like I pointed out up here, there's this, uh, there's these weird little muscles, the abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis. Pollicis means the thumb. Not sure why, because it's a different language, that's why. Uh, <laughs> but, um, okay, so like we can see these wrapping over, uh, and we haven't seen a lot of evidence of that on most of what we've looked at so far, but here we can, we can definitely see a uh, an edge there. We don't really see like muscle tissue, but we do see the ligaments and stuff. So it is good to be aware of that edge on the inside of the wrist. Um, here we can see the condyle and we can see the evidence of that uh, inner elbow tendon lashing down the muscles there. It just creates a little divot. Biceps going in between, a little bit of uh, brachialis there. All right, let's see. Um, here we've got uh, elbow. We've got uh, we don't see the we don't see the condyle there, but we can see its its uh, influence. Here's the uh, brachioradialis. Whoops. The same layer. Okay, let me get on a new layer. Okay, elbow, condyle, brachioradialis. We can see some of these muscles extending out. A little bit of the anconius there. Let's see. A little bit of the flexors coming out on the other side. Um, on this other uh, arm here, we, we see that, you know, no, no real definition here, just kind of a mass. 
but you can see it start to split up into the tendons on the inside of the wrist there. And if anyone has any questions, anything you want uh, to see a little more attention given to, uh, let me know. Um, okay, these boxer guys here have a lot of uh, flexing muscle that's uh, easy to easy to see. Let's see. Elbow, I believe. Uh, let's see. I think that's the. Uh, Condyle there, we got the uh, this stuff, brachioradialis, um, wrapping over. We can see all of these uh, extensor muscles coming off there. Inconius will be somewhere in here. Around there should be the uh, border. The um, the ulna, ulna, the furrow of the ulna, or whatever, we would have the flexors popping out on, on the other side there. Um, let's see, this guy, we've got the uh, bicep tendon here. Bicep, a little bit of brachialis there, tricep. And then we can really see the uh, brachioradialis really standing up right there. And then on the inside, there's the flexors. And we can actually see on this one, uh, you can see for these shadows here, we are starting to see um, some separation in the uh, muscles of the forearm there. But, you know, this is a athlete in the middle of an extremely uh, explosive movement. And we can see all these, uh, all this stuff like stretched out. But that's pretty rare. Um, so, uh, yeah. Okay. What else we got? Big bodybuilder guy here. Um, elbow. Interior condyle. Here we can actually see some of these muscles. A uh, little bit of separation, but not that much. I mean, for how how buff and lean this guy is, uh, you still see only a tiny bit of. Um, of separation, uh, at least down here in this main bulge area. Up here, uh, all of this stuff turns to tendon and it does get uh, a lot of separation. Um, and then you, like I mentioned, you see these big veins kind of going everywhere, which um, really are a lot more prominent than the difference in the, uh, in the muscles. Um, but uh, here we've got that ulnar furrow, I think it might be called, the uh, the, the bony landmark uh, along the edge of the, the ulna. Um, there's the inside of the tricep running down to the elbow there. Um, I think that's the uh, inner elbow tendon. Okay, here's another. This is a little low resolution, so I don't know how useful this one will be. But we can see uh, just that big old mass here as it like turns to tendon out here. We can see a little bit of that outside one. So um, let's see. So we get this thing where we've got the bicep, tricep, whatever. And then basically we've got an outside mass that kind of reaches up on this side. And then we've got this inside mass that does not, it, it the inside mass, the, the, um, yeah, well, the inside, the flexor side of the forearm, uh, does not extend up into the upper arm like the outside does it. That mass kind of stops right at that condyle there. Um, but because of this brachioradialis and whatnot that, that reaches up there, um, you know, we, we do have that side going up to the uh, up to the upper arm, but it is this um, this cool, you know, inside and outside mass with the bicep kind of coming down in between it. Hope that makes sense. Um, let's see. All right. Another bodybuilder guy. Uh, this guy, we can really see uh, everything here. We've got the elbow. 
We've got evidence of the condyle there. We don't see the condyle itself, but we see the muscles around it. So there's the brachioradialis. We might even see a little separation between the brachioradialis and its uh, sibling there, the um, extensor carpi radio. Extensor. Extensor carpi radialis longus. That's it. I'm not going to stop trying to say that word. Um, where was I? Over here. Okay. Uh, so we got all of these muscles spreading out, uh, radiating out from that condyle. We got the anconius there, just a little. It, even the anconius radiates out from the condyle, but it's it, it comes. It doesn't come down to the wrist like the rest of them does. It just attaches kind of to the bone right there. Um, we got that long uh, bony landmark of the ulna. And then we see a little bit of the flexors peeking out from the other side. Uh, same over here. Brachioradialis. Um, all of these extensor muscles stretching out. Anconius. Here's that uh, furrow of the ulna. A little bit of flexors popping out on the other side. Um, all right, let's see. Is there anything good here? We can see the internal uh, condyle there, uh, that uh, inner elbow tendon would be right there. Here's the big bulge of the flexors. And then on the other side, we got the bicep tendon inserting in here. And there's kind of a separation between the uh, flexors here and the uh, brachioradialis. Um, and what those muscles do mostly, the brachioradialis, is I, I believe it, uh, well, it helps in, in, in flexing the arm, but it also uh, rotates the, uh, the fist or the, the hand outward. Um, all right, let's see. I have some, I have another page of reference. A few, whoops, I got moved. All right, so let's take a look at a few more here. Um, probably finish up pretty soon. Um, all right, so this guy here, we've got these bony landmarks on the outside of the wrist, inside and outside of the wrist. We got the elbow, we got the uh, condyle, brachioradialis wrapping around and going down the inside we got the uh, the um, ulnar furrow there flexors bulging on that side we don't really see them in this picture but we know we've got all these uh, muscles reaching out from there and conius right there uh, tricep is gonna go to the uh, to that condyle there and uh press up in the back we're not dealing with that really but it's nice to see how it all connects uh same thing here elbow condyle brachioradialis reaching down to the inside uh we got the uh ulnar furrow. It's kind of on the outside there. We don't really see it so much. Um, all these muscles coming out this way. A little anconius bulging up there. And then uh, again, I mean, look at look at all of these crazy veins popping up here. We still, we can't really see separation uh, on this, uh, muscle. So it all kind of just comes out as a big bulge, even though it's a bunch of different muscles, but we do see them turning to tendons up here and kind of popping up on the underside of the wrist. Um, interior or not, what am I saying? Uh, brachioradialis there, bicep kind of inserting in between those two main masses of muscle. Um, there's a little bit of brachialis popping out. Let's see. That tendon in there somewhere, kind of lashing this down. Um, 
Let's see. Okay. Um, so here's the elbow. Here's the uh, out that bony landmark in the outside of the wrist. Here is that uh, ulnar furrow. All on this side is just that big bulge of the uh, flexors. Um, here we got the brachioradialis coming from the uh, condyle there. There would be muscles all spreading out from there. Same thing here, brachioradialis. Ulnar furrow there. Flexors popping up on the other side. Uh, all of these muscles spreading out here. Little Anconius right there. Uh, okay, this one's cool because uh, she has pretty thin arms and we can really see the bones. So there's the elbow and there's the two condyles right there. Um, ulnar furrow in there somewhere. A little bit of bulge for the flexors. Um, I feel like it's good sometimes to look at pictures where you don't really see the anatomical. Uh, you don't really see all the muscles and stuff, but you can kind of figure out where they are based on these uh, context clues. So there's the brachioradialis. Um, all of these muscles kind of extending off there. Uh, here we got the uh, biceps inserting in between these two. And, you know, here, it, like, it's pretty smooth. We don't see a lot of definition, but we know we know what we're looking at. Um, this flexor mass, uh, even turning to tendon here. Um, we can see a little bit here of that, uh, let's see. Oh, I moved this one too. Okay. Um, of that bit that we saw curving over, it's almost like a, like a echo of the, um, of the brachioradialis there. It's like a little mini brachioradialis that kind of comes from underneath the, the um, extensor muscles. Um, so we can kind of see that happening right there. Okay, and uh, well, may as well finish these off. Uh, elbow, outer condyle, Here's a really clear uh, ulnar furrow there coming to that uh, outside of the wrist bone. We can see a little bit of the mass of like the flexors and tendons there. Um, brachioradialis here. We don't really see these uh, extensor muscles, but we know they're there. Um, up here we can see the intercondyle there. See the elbow. Uh, let's see. There's not, you know, not much mass that we can see here, but there is just kind of a smooth, like, bulge that, as it approaches the wrist, starts to turn to, to tendon. Here we can see again, look at that, look at this little bulge right there. This is that um, muscle that we just talked about uh, right over here um, that comes down like a little mini brachioradialis. To the thumb. This is not, no one's going to miss this if you don't draw it, to be honest. Um, but it's cool to know it's there. Uh, we see the bicep coming in between that mass. Um, brachioradialis right there. Uh, on her, we can see a nice elbow, and uh, we don't exactly see the condyle there, but we definitely see the divot that's created by it, brachioradialis here, all these muscles extending out. We can see the anconius there. Here's that uh, ulnar furrow, in uh, medial epicondyle there, a um, little mass of the flexors there. Here we see the bicep uh, running in the middle here, bordered by these two masses of the brachioradialis on that side, and then the uh, flexors on this side. And uh, 
one left. May as well finish it all up. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Uh, look at all of this, this just big chunky bony area. So we can see the elbow right there. And then we've got the condyles on either side here. Uh, we can see here's the bone. Here's the bulge of the muscle right there is where we're seeing that uh, internal elbow ligament. I decided to call it. Um, here we've got the uh, the uh, bony landmark there of the exterior of the wrist. It uh, the ulnar furrow there. Um, we can kind of see the evidence of the uh, brachioradialis and these various muscles extending out there. Here, elbow condyle. We don't see the interior condyle, but um, there's that ulnar furrow, flexors coming up on the inside, brachioradialis would be right here, and then all of those, uh, we can see a little bit of evidence of these muscles here, just running along uh, to the top of the wrist. Um, and that should be about it. Let me, um, let me just do one more little, uh, drawing demo. Um, and if anybody has any, uh, final questions or concerns or anything you want to see again, now would be, uh, the time to let me know. Let's see. So, deltoid, bicep, a little bit of that interior of that uh, tricep coming through. Brachioradialis bulging on the outside there, um, running to the inside of the wrist. Uh, we've got this uh, condyle here uh, jutting out. We, there's that. Uh, tendon, sort of strapping it down right there so that the bulge comes over here. And then that bulge is going to bulge out and start to turn to tendons on the inside of the wrist there. And uh, one more drawing from the uh, outside of the arm. So deltoid. Here's the elbow. Put some condyles in there. Triceps. Biceps and uh, brachialis. We're going to have the... Uh, let's, let's just give this a little mass. That makes it easier. Um, brachioradialis. Wrapping around the outside there. Kind of coming down from that condyle, just wrapping to the inside of the wrist. Um, here's that uh, ulnar furrow there. We'll see those flexors bulging up on the other side of that ulnar furrow. Uh, and then a few more, you know, just put those muscles in, uh, radiating out from that uh, condyle. And then one more little anconius right there. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, so there's the forearm. Um, any questions, anything anyone wants to see again, let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, that will be it for our lesson. Um, so assignment, uh, for this week is going to be just give me, uh, give me 10 forearms. Um, draw enough of the, uh, mannequin that we can see how it relates to the upper arm um, particularly like how the, uh, biceps and triceps, uh, how the biceps inserts in between the two major, uh, bulging masses. Uh-oh, I lost my discord. Everybody still here? Yeah, yeah I can here. still hear you. Okay, cool. Yeah, my discord window closed, but, uh, it's still open. Okay. Um, so yeah, let, show me... Show me the biceps inserting between these two bulges of muscle here. Show me how the triceps connect to the uh, condyles and to the elbow down there. And then just show me all of this stuff that we uh, 
that we dealt with today. Um, draw from reference, draw without reference, um, do them both, whatever works for you. Um, and uh, that will be it for today. We'll be back next week and we'll start uh, working on the legs. So um, thank you very much, you guys. And I will see you all next week. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.